Okay, afternoon everyone. This is my uh, third day doing this. It's the 9th of May. Um, so, last time I left it, I, all I did really was make notes. I had a few lines, didn't I? So I wasn't... I mean, I liked a few of the images, but nothing sort of came out. So I think at this stage, I think I'm just going to start to write something and see how it goes. Um... Uh, maybe having a think of the images around it. The fear of the weight of the weight they hold. They hold off from holding hands. They see the abyss before them. I see them gazing into me and themselves reflected. Uh, I mean, I still like rainbow sharp and bleeding scorch of the sky. I still like that. I don't know about anything else, really. Maybe start with that line for now, for this drafting process. A rainbow sharp and bleeding. Sharp and bleeding, tortured sky. Right, if I take off the, I've got a, a, a line of iambic pentameter then, haven't I? A rainbow sharp and bleeding, scorches sky. Why don't we see if we can hammer out a sonnet? Um, uh, it's not something I you, you, uh, do very often, but as a sort of writing challenge or or stimulus, at least, it gives you that form, isn't it? There's that classic qu quote about writing free verse is, is like playing tennis without a net. So the actual arbitrary restrictions of a form whether it's a haiku if it's a sonnet or or limerick or whatever forces you into creating something of course you then have to go back and redraft and and uh completely tear it apart i think afterwards but uh, well let's wait and see right see if i can get a shakespearean sonnet out of this we'll do um a b a b rhyme i suppose a rainbow sharp and bleeding scorches sky Sunset staggers back and forth. The sunset staggers back and forth and back again. I like the genre with that. Again. Oh, that capital. Uh, no word processing uh, program ever seems to know that you're writing a, po uh, a poem and tries to capitalise every single line. Uh, the sunset staggers back and forth and back again. Sky. So rhyming with sky. Come on, guys. It's a classic, classic uh, website. Rhyme zone. <laughs> Lovely. I kind of like the advanced view sometimes if I want something specific, but at this stage I'm just sort of playing around with it. So. Back and forth and back again. Again. What once was so. What once was soaked again, but once what, what again, what once was soaked is now bone dry. I don't like, I mean, it's a bit of a cliche, but it will do for now. Soaked is now bone dry. It lays across the ground. In shades of black. It lays across the ground in shades of black. Okay, one quatrain done. Woo! It's rubbish, but there you go. Um, they stand around my edge. They they stand around my edge. They hold their hands, I mean, it's all a bit literal at the moment. They hold their hands and whisper questions and whisper and whisper questions, questions until 
their throats. And whisper questions and whisper questions as their throats, as their throats, as their throats constrict and whisper questions. I'm literally counting count the syllables on my hand here. And whisper questions as their throats constrict. Um, this is something I try to do in drafts as well. Where, uh, but that the only reason that change is for um, metric flow. But say it was a wrong word or or I didn't like the image or whatever it is, or it's just a placeholder, then I put it there, I might use a, uh, a right slash to show alternate. So when I copy it over and redraft it, I know that I'm going to replace stuff. They hold their hands and whisper questions as their throats constrict. <laughs> I don't want to bang on about the questions. The questions... Questions why and what and when. Can I get away with how at the end? The questions why and what and when and how to rhyme with hands, that's not going to work, is it? Something about lack. Uh, they do not understand. I mean, that again, that's a cliched rhyme with hands, but something like that. Um, constrict. That's a rhyme. Rhyme zone. Constrict. Depict. Predict. Predict, I like. Derelict. 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 Eggs Benedict, no. <laughs> uh, predict. Stand in nothing and nothing that will happen. And they predict. The, I mean, that's an inversion, but I'm going to have to work on that. Okay, second quatrain, third one to go. This is where the Volta would come in then, wouldn't it? But, from, but from above, beyond. Let's bring in that, that dimensional idea then, isn't it? But from above, beyond. My opposite. But from above, beyond, my opposite. But from above, beyond my opposite, a square oh, it's a cube, though, isn't it? A cube that can, that can, a cube that can, a cube that can't, a cube. You that nev. I don't want to force the rhythm though. That never. Sometimes I have to catch myself when I'm writing this because I'm your brain and your voice is gonna move faster than your mind for that, isn't it? I suppose. Um yeah, it would move faster. So I sort of dismiss things before I've even written them down. When I'm doing this type of Drafting, whatever comes to mind, I want to type it down. So even though that's completely wrong, a cube that never sits well enough, enough. A cube that never sits well enough. That's rubbish. Sits or fits something like that well enough. Enough. Uh, and at the clash, the 
colors, the colors radiate, radiate, and at the clash, the colors radiate opposite. That's not going to work, is it? Is there a better word? Sit. Sit. Oh, it's gone to advance for some reason. Metropolis causes us. Uh, oh. Rapid punch colors radiate. Let's see if like that enough. And all that can that might have been smooth is rough. It's completely forced. Okay, we're on to the couplet. Two, four, two, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, okay. I did like that, f the fear of the weight of the weight. The fear of weight. The fear, that's an anapest now, isn't it? The fear of the weight. Fear of weight's weight. Yeah, weights, weights, and then we've got the spondy. I like that they do not know what they wait for. I'm just going to grab that. I don't think that will fit there so much. What, what they wait for. The weight of patience. For <sighs> they know not what they wait for, the weight of patience. will not open the door. It's rubbish, absolute rubbish. But you've got to start somewhere, haven't you? Okay, so the, the, here we've got something, haven't we? So at least it's something. I don't, it's just the way I, it looks, isn't it? Uh, where are the styles? No spacing, that's what I want. That double, sp like, wider spaces, loads of rubbish. Okay, so now that I've got that there as a draft, I've got, I'll copy and paste it, and then I can at least fine-tune it so it's a working draft, isn't it? A rainbow sharp and bleeding, a rainbow sharp and bleeding scorches sky. The sunset staggers back and forth and back again. What once was soaked is now bone dry. It lays across the ground in shades of black. They stand around my edge, they hold their hands. 
and whisper questions as their throats constrict. The, qu the questions why and what and when and how. The question. Something about not even understanding the question, let alone having an answer. Questions are not something like the questions, let alone the answers, aren't understood. The question, the questions, questions. Not even understood, but then that's the past tense. Questions they are not hope to understand. And whisper questions as their throats constrict. The, the questions they cannot. I understand questions. Uh, let's have a trochee, I suppose. Questions they cannot. Questions they questions. Questions that can't. Questions that can't be. I've lost that line, haven't I? I'm gonna to have to leave that as a question mark, I think. And nothing and nothing and nothing happens. Nothing happens. Happens that they and nothing happens. They can predict that that they can predict. Predict from above, beyond my opposite cube. The cup, a cube that never fits, never fits, that never fits badly enough. That could never fit well enough. And at this clash, colours radiate. And all that can be, can, and all that might have been smoothed as rough. They know not what they wait for. Wait, wait. The weight of patience will not open the door. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there because it's coming up to 20 minutes now, and it's raining very heavily. I don't know if you can hear it on the mic. A rainbow, jeez, there is a rainbow sharp and bleeding in the scorched sky. The sunset staggers back and forth and back again. What once was soaked is now bone dry. It lays across the ground in shades of black. That first plot train in terms of versification is, is there, but not in terms of being a bone. They stand around my edge. They hold their hands and whisper questions as their throats constrict. There's an awkward um, promotion there of that syllable here, but I'll work on them. Got bigger problems. Question. Those. I don't want the trophy. Those questions. Those questions. Those questions that they cannot understand. Those questions that they cannot understand. Those questions that they cannot understand. It's not natural, but it will do for now. And nothing happens that they can predict. And nothing happens. 
and nothing happens that they can predict that they and nothing happens that they can predict but from above beyond my opposite a cube that never colon a tube that never that never did fit well a cube that never did fit well enough a cube that never did fit well enough is an awful sentence but and at this clash the colors radiate and all that might have been smoothed is rough they know not what they wait for they can not know they cannot know what they they cannot know what they will wait that they are waiting for the weight of patience will not open the door cannot know what they are waiting for the weight of waiting cannot open doors the weight the weight of waiting can not open doors I mean, it loses the the perfect rhyme of four and all, but that's fine. Okay, right. I'm going to leave it there. I think I've just splurged out a a sonnet. I've got it roughly uh, working mm -hmm. to the rhythm. It's got a Shakespearean rhyme scheme. So that, I mean, there's uh, I've got the clay, and I'll put it in a, a rough lump. Let's use that metaphor, I suppose. From then on, it's just uh, uh, the writing process I can foresee is either going to be fine tuning this until it's the best Shakespearean sonnet I can make, or there's the possible and or I suppose I make a, I could try out different processes. I could tear this apart, or I can start from scratch again. But I feel like that's a block. That's an accomplishment. Not much of an accomplishment, but okay. That'll do for now. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Maybe tomorrow.